Ms. Alexander, do you have any other witnesses besides the parties? Uh, the state would call Kim Shaw, just in case I need her. Ms. Alexander, this appears to be a non-agreed CSRP. And, uh, looks like it was filed on October the 14th of 2022. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Frege, it looks like back in October of last year, you and Mr. Schott and the AG's office tried to work out an agreement in regards to this child. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And you signed this agreement. So, but that's been over almost five months ago. Are you still in agreement with this proposed order that I have in front of me today? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, there's one thing I would like to change is the to have like the back child support because I haven't been getting any help from Zachary. Well, I'm assuming that this child support is probably going to start the first day of November of 2022. So it's going to kick in about as fast as it can go. All righty. Your Honor, may I? You may. <clears throat> Every time she's asked me for money, I've sent it to her. Well, that's so okay, she, Mr. Show. Did you pay her, have have you paid her any money since November? Yes, sir, I have. How much? Uh, I can pull it up and look. Well, you're going to need to. Every time she's asked me for it, I send her what she asked for. Okay. Well, we just need to get a figure. I don't want to put you six months behind in child support if you've been paying it. While he's looking at it, Ms. Frigé, has he, has he not been sending you any money since November? Um, he It's just been a couple of times when I haven't been able to, when I've been struggling to get things for Oliver. Um, so I send him like the receipt and he'll how send. Much, so just while he's looking it up, how much money did he send you in November? I don't think he sent me any in November. How much do you send you in December? Probably about like 50 bucks. All right. How much did he send you in January? None. How much in February? None. And has he sent you any money in March? No, sir. All right. So since November the 1st, the only thing he sent you was $50 in, in December. Well, I have all the transactions. Let me look. Okay. Okay, so he has, because I had to go and look. So, and on the 10th of February, he sent me 67. And then January 9th, he sent me 100. Uh, December 30th, he sent me 50. I got that one. Uh, September 18th, he sent me 40. Now that was before November. I'm not worried about that one. All right. Those are the only. All right. Mr. Show, do you have anything in addition besides the 50, the 67, and the 100? I have those. And I, every time she's asked me for something, I send it to her. Yeah, but not money. Just if you go buy stuff and bring it to her, but not cash. I don't give her cash. I cash up it to her. So it's okay. on record. Well, how much? So you should have that on your phone. How much, how much money have you sent her through cash apps since November the 1st? 217. That's what she said she sent her. 217. That was right. Okay. Everything else is agreeable in regards to the money and the insurance. You're working in you're working now and you, you should be able to get insurance through your union. Is that correct, Mr. Show? Yes, sir. When I get voted into the union. All right. And when is that going to take place? Uh, 60 something more days. Hmm. Well, we're going to leave it like it is. I can't force them to give you health insurance until you're actually in the union. So I'm not going to be able to do what I had asked to be done before. All right. So the only issue that I really have before me today is the visitation. Is that correct, Mr. Show? Yes, sir. All right. Um, in, in this proposed order, it had uh, eight visits at each phase, which was eight supervised visits, eight unsupervised visits for half a day eight unsupervised visits for the day, and then eight one-night overnight visits. Ms. Frigia, you had already said that you were in agreement with that? Yes, sir. All right. And Mr. Show, you do not agree to that visitation schedule? No, sir. All right. Ms. Alexander, you can call your first witness. Uh, the state... Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, the state would call Ms. Frigia. Uh, Ms. Frigia, just a quick question. Um, 
There was a DNA testing that was ordered at the last hearing. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you've completed the DNA? Yes, ma'am. Have you seen the results yet? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, Your Honor, the state would like to enter the state's exhibit, the DNA test results in this case. Ms. Frise, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the DNA test results okay, for the I child. Look at these DNA test results? Yes, sir. Same question, Mr. Showed. Is it okay if I look at these DNA test results? Yes, sir. State Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Based on the admission into evidence of State Exhibit A, the court's going to find that the alleged father, in this case, Mr. Zach Zachary Show, is found to be the biological and now the legal father of the child. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Frege, as the judge asked you, you're in agreement to everything in this non-agree that was done in October. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. You're in agreement that both of you will be joint managing conservator. You will have the right to designate the child's residence without any geographical restriction. You're in agreement to that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the child support and the medical support amounts, you're in agreement to that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the visits, as the judge stated, is the step-up visits where it's, we'll get to that, sorry. Um, it starts with some supervised visits leading up to unsupervised for a short amount of time, then for a whole day, and then overnights, then would lead to the standard possession order, as long as Mr. Schott, um completes all those visitation. Are you in agreement to that? Yes, ma'am. And do you feel that those visitations are in the best interest of the child? Yes, ma'am. Do you feel that these orders are in the best interest of the child? Yes, ma'am. Are you asking the judge to sign these orders? Yes, ma'am. No further questions at this time, Your Honor. Call your next witness. Uh, the state would call Mr. Shout. Mr. Shout, state your full name. Zachary Shout. Okay. And as the judge asked you, you're in agreement to everything in this order with the exceptions as to the phased in visits. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why are you not in agreement to those phased in visits? Uh, no, no reason to be supervised. I got my daughter, I have her unsupervised, no issues. She's almost four years old. Okay, and how old is Oliver? Seven months. Okay. Prior to Oliver's birth, how often did you visit with Oliver? Prior what? to his birth? Uh, my, my apologies. I think what I was trying to say was prior to this non-agreed that was entered, how often did you visit with Oliver? This was non agree was entered in November. Mm -hmm. I saw him a, a few times, count on one hand before that. Okay, so Oliver was born last July and you've had a few visits since then, is that correct? Prior to this, yes, it was a few. And how many visits have you had with Oliver since November? Since November. Uh, Kaylee, she told me the other day, she counted them. It was like 11. And with those, was mom around when you had those visits? Yes, ma'am. She doesn't leave them with anybody. Okay. So you've never had any visits with Oliver on your own? Not with Oliver, no, ma'am. Okay. Have you had any overnight visits with Oliver? Yes, with his mother. Oh, with his mother. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. Call you next week. No other witnesses, Your Honor. Right. So, Mr. Show, um, when was the when was the last time you actually saw Oliver? Last time she brought him to see me. That's not a date, so I have no idea when that is. I saw him the third March third. There you go. All right. So, cup. So, ten days ago you saw him, and yes, when was the time before that? I'm not sure, sir, Your Honor. See, Mr. Show, I, I'm on your side, believe it or not. Um, I'm not a big fan of supervised visitation. But what I am a fan of is um, consistent contact. That's what I'm a fan of. Um, and unfortunately, 
through no fault of your own, Mr. Schoen, this is a very young child. Um, and while your daughter is four and you have great visitation with her, and I'm sure you have a great relationship with her, she's older than three than, than seven months. And a seven-month-old child um, has got to get to know you. Okay. And if there's long stretches in between contacts, then that child is so young that child may not remember who you are. So I just can't uproot a seven month old baby and give you the seven month old baby the way you wish. Um, so the child's seven months old. Um, do you have a question, Mr. Show? Listen, you, you said that? that it's a four year old is different than a seven month old, but my four year old was also seven months old at one time and right. we had no issues. Okay. Did you live with the with your seven you, the four year old? Did you live with her? Uh, we lived up until she was about ten months old. Okay. So, see, that's the problem is that it's it's completely different because this child's age is a little different than what you were. So after your child, your daughter was ten months old, and you and the mother separated and weren't living together anymore. Did you just have weekend visitation with her every every weekend, every other weekend after that? Thursdays and every other weekend. Okay. But let's be honest, you've never had a full-blown weekend by yourself with Oliver, right? No, sir. Have you ever had Oliver by yourself overnight? No, sir. Um, have you ever had Oliver by yourself for the entire day? No, sir. Have you ever had Oliver by yourself for um, like a half a day, just by yourself? No, sir. So the only contact that you've had – with Oliver has been what Miss Frege has given you and with her being present. Yes, sir. All right. Is that your rule, Miss Frege? He he wasn't allowed to have Oliver by himself because that's what you wanted to happen? No, sir. Okay. Um I Did would you? ask him when he was able to see Oliver and I would bring him to see Oliver. Um, and then I would just be there because I didn't have anything else to do. And Oliver didn't know Zach. So right. I needed to make sure Oliver was okay and that he had his comfort, which is me, right. if he needed anything. Okay. So some of it was you? A little bit, yes, sir. It's okay. Is this your only child? Yes, sir. I mean, it's, it's not unreasonable, Miss Frugge. It's your first one. So you just don't think that you need to be supervised at all, Mr. Show? Is that what you're saying? Not by her. Not by her? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, no. if she can delegate somebody, then that's acceptable. But she's borderline harassing me pretty much all the time. Okay. She shows up at my house when nobody's there, you know, leaves notes on my door, tries my doorknob. Okay. Uh, stuff like that. Okay. Would it be safe for me to assume, Mr. Shoke, that some of the issues that have come up between you and Ms. Frege and you having contact with Oliver is because there's there's still some residual issues between you and Ms. Frege? 100%. Okay. Yeah. Is there someone else, Ms. Frege, that you trust with the child that can supervise for Mr. Shoke? Um, my parents. Okay. You going to do that at your parents' house, Ms. Frege? Um, I mean, I live with my grandparents. I I rather trust my grandparents more than my parents because my my both my parents work. So I don't know when like okay. they would be home. Okay. Anything else, Miss Alexander? Nothing else from the state, Your Honor. Miss Frise, is there anything else that you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? No, oh, sir. Mr. Show, is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. All right. Of course, going to find the court's jurisdiction. Uh, I'm going to make some changes to the order. Uh, here are the changes that I'm going to make, Ms. Alexander. Uh, the child support in this case is going to stay the same. The medical support in this case is going to stay the same. However, uh, the start dates for the child support and the medical support are going to be uh, moved backwards to April the 1st of 2023. Uh, instead of doing the November 1st child support, but I am going to grant retroactive child support from that date to this date. However, I also am going to give Mr. Show credit 
for the money that he has paid to Ms. Frigia at this point in time. Therefore, retroactive child support will be granted the amount of $4,983. That's going to be paid back at a rate of uh, $50 per month, also beginning April the 1st of 2023. Uh, the visitation order is going to be the same as what's been proposed, except I'm going to shorten the amount of uh, supervised visits. It will be four supervised visits instead of eight, and then it'll be eight visits after that at each phase. Otherwise, the visitation schedule is going to remain the same. Uh, Ms. Alexander, does the state of Texas hear all the terms and conditions of the changes that I've made to your proposed order? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, court costs to be paid by? Or whatever it is in the proposed order. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I got everything, Judge. All right. So basically, y'all, what I did was I just carried forward Mr. Show and Ms. Frigier, the child support that was ordered in the court order. Uh, it does create a retroactive child support judgment, but I did give Mr. Show credit for the $217 that he's already paid. I thought that was the simplest way to make sure that the numbers were accurate based on the testimony that I've heard today. Um, I did change the supervised number from eight to four. I think that Mr. Show has um, completed some supervised visits at this point in time, and I don't think he, he needs to have supervised visits for as long a period as he's got. He will do eight visits at the other phases. Um, what's going to happen now, y'all, is Miss uh, Alexander is going to send me a court order. If it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and I'm going to send it back to her. And she's going to make copies of it and send it to each of you. And you don't have to be satisfied with my ruling. If either party is dissatisfied with my ruling, you have three business days in which to file notice of written appeal with the district clerk's office in Harlan County. Okay? Make sure you send a copy of that written appeal to everybody else that didn't appeal in the case. Now, uh, Ms. Frege, do you have any questions about my ruling today? No, sir. Mr. Schoke, do you have any questions about my ruling today? How does the process of the phases work? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. How does the phasing process work exactly? So your phases, Mr. Schoke, are pretty simple. They're the first, third, and fifth Saturday of each month. And your four supervised visits will be on the first, third, and fifth Saturday from one to five, okay? And it'll be at Miss Frigier's home or a place where you guys can agree to meet. Once you get done with those four visits, Mr. Show, you don't have to be, do supervised anymore after that. Okay. You just do the eight visits where you get the child all over for the whole for the half a day. When you get those eight visits of half days by yourself uh, completed, then you get eight where you get the child for the whole day. And when you get those eight visits done, then you get Oliver for one night overnight. When those eight one night overnights are done, then you can get standard. So if you do all the visits as per the court's order today, then it'll take you about, it's only, it'll only take you two months for the first phase and then four months for each additional phase after that. So even before the child is, oh, I don't know, even before the child's two years old, probably, um, you're going to have standard possession, which is a year ahead of time, uh, so long as you do the visits as they're ordered, okay? But uh, it's, one more question. it's always on the first, third, and fifth Saturday of the month, Mr. Show. So you just look at a calendar and whatever the fifth, th first, third, and fifth Saturday is, just mark those so you know that's the day that you're supposed to have visits. Okay. Uh, I have one more question as well. Yes. First, third, and fifth. If I if I miss the third, like the third Saturday of the month, does it restart or is it just carried on? No, away? you just you miss that visit. So you so if you if you've done two supervised visits and you missed your third one then you still have to do your third one before you do the fourth. One. So okay. that's why it's a certain number of visits and not a certain number of months. So I say you have to do four supervised. So until you do your four supervised visits for those, that period of time, then you can't move on to the, to the eight unsupervised visits. Okay. But no, it doesn't, okay. re it doesn't reset. <laughs> that starts when that gives me another question. How do we record that this happened? That what happened? like the visitation happened how do we make it known that it did happen so neither of us can go back and say it did not i have no idea you really think that that's something that you're going to need to do is record that it that it happened uh, yes sir i do i mean you'll just have to figure out a plan mr show for how to make that happen a calendar is probably the easiest way to do it the only way for sure, Mr. Show, is just to have evidence in court. You have to file something if it if it happens that way. Okay. I would I would think that you're both grown up at this point in time and know what the terms conditions of my court order are. 
are and that you would follow it. If you don't follow it, then bad things can really, really happen. Okay? Yes, sir. I wish you both the best of luck. Based on what I'm hearing, you're probably going to need it a little. Man, you can put your hand down. Right. You're both free to go. Okay. This appears to be a default. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's check some service on this case. Mm -hmm. Court's going to find that Mr. Adrian Elam was personally served with citation in this case in Hardin County, Texas on December the 5th of 2022. That citation is returning on file on December the 6th of 2022. Um, I'm going to also find that he has not filed an answer. Therefore, he's eligible for default. The court's going to find that the state of Texas sent notice of this hearing. Looks like on the first day of March. Okay. That's pretty close. All right. He's got notice of hearing, assuming that... Uh, Everything else is in place. Is the state ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. But you can call your first witness. Uh, the state will call Miss Williams. And are you currently married? My husband is deceased. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And if I may, when were you married to him? I'm sorry? When were you married to your deceased husband? December 16th of 2014. And when did your um, husband pass away? January 18th of 2023. Your Honor, I believe we're going to have to ask some for DNA testing. Yes, ma'am. You are. Yeah. Uh, Miss Williams, can you hear me okay? Yes. I'm sorry for the loss of your husband. Um, Miss uh, Williams, Unfortunately, though, uh, the child, the, the children that were that are in this case were born while you were married to your husband. OK. OK. And as such, I'm required by law to do DNA testing in this case because That's your, fine. That's fine. your husband, by law, is considered to be the father of those children. All right. OK. All right, hold on one second. Let me look at one other thing. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm looking at the acknowledgement of paternity. There's yeah. no denial from the yeah. Yeah. father. All right. What's our reset date, Miss Alexander? Um, whew, let's. Well, let me ask this other question first. Uh, Miss Williams, have you seen or talked to Mr. Elam? Um, it's been about maybe a month now. Okay. Um, if I order DNA testing, do you think he's going to cooperate with my request for DNA testing? I don't. He's currently in a situation. I believe he has a blue warrant of some sort. So I seriously doubt that he would. Well, that's going to create a quandary for the state. They're going to reach out to him, though, Miss Williams, and see if they might be able to get him to cooperate with the test. OK. OK, of course. What's our reset date, Miss Alexander? Uh, Judge, let's go June 12th. That allow us to... At least try and attempt a couple of times to get him into testing. Miss Williams, they're going to send me an order for DNA testing. I'm going to sign it, get it back to them. Then they're going to reach out to you to show up uh, with the children for your DNA test. They'll try to make contact with Mr. Elam to get him to cooperate with the test. But I'm not going to lie to you, Miss Williams. Um, this case might be at an impasse if I don't have a cooperation from Mr. Elam for the DNA test. OK. OK. All right. I apologize for the delay, Miss Williams. Do you have any questions? No, sir, I don't. All right. Um, I thank you for your time. The state will reach out to you and let you know when and where you need to show up with the children for the DNA test. Now, your okay, case sir. has been called, Miss Alexander. You can call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the state will call Miss Cullen. Okay. And what is the name of the child before the court today? Blaine and what's Bruce. Blaine's date of birth? 21. Okay. And who is the father of Blaine? Dylan Bridgers. Uh, Your Honor, the state would like to enter the state's exhibit the acknowledgement of paternity for the child. Ms. Cullen, I've just placed on the screen 
a copy of the alleged acknowledgement of paternity for the child Blaine. Is it okay if I look at this acknowledgement? Yes, sir. Same question, Mr. Bridgers. Can I look at this acknowledgement? Yes, sir. State that A is admitted into evidence. May I proceed, Your Honor? You may. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Cullen, you stated you and dad are currently residing together? No, we're not. Okay, you're not residing together. Okay. All right. So who does the child primarily live with? He lives with me. Okay. And who makes the day-to-day -day decisions, Blaine? Uh, me, I do. <laughs> who makes the major decisions for the child? We make those together. Okay. And what kind of decisions are those that you make together? Uh, I mean, everything. We talk every day, everything we do um that involves him we make this the decisions together okay and what county do you live in hardin county okay and what county does dad live in hardin okay the same all right now did you both live together at some point yes we did um when did you separate in may of 2022 okay. And how often does visit, how often, I'm sorry, how often does dad visit with Blaine? Um, three to four times a week and four to five hours. Okay. Does dad have any weekend visits? Yes. Okay. And we how work often? around his, um, he's in school and work right now. And so we, we work around that together. Okay. And does dad have overnight visits? No, he, so he's going to be two in April, but he does still nurse at night. So he is with me, okay. but he does stay with us. Who does? Dylan. Oh, dad does stay. If, okay. Yeah. If that counts as overnight visit. Okay. But has dad had any overnight visits without you being around? Just once, but that was only because I was in the hospital because Blaine does still need me at night. Okay. Um, would you have any concerns at some point if dad was to have overnight visits? No, not at all. Okay. What kind of health insurance is Blaine on? Blue Cross Blue Shield. And who's that through? Dylan and his work. Okay. Do you know if dad has any other children? No, he doesn't. Now, are you asking for child support just moving forward or are you asking for back child support um just child support okay just child support moving forward correct yes no further questions your honor no I call you next week at the state would call mr bridges mr bridges and what kind of decisions do you help mom wait with as it relates to blaine uh i mean everything uh, we're constantly in contact from when they wake up to when they go to bed um, the whole day. Okay. Uh, and how often do you visit with Blaine? Three to five times a week, four to six hours a time, like she said. Okay. And have you had any overnights that you recall without mom around? Yes, the same instance that she uh, referenced. Okay. Would you happen to know how much it costs? for to cover Blaine on your health insurance through your employer? Uh, I want to say 130 a month. I'm sorry, how much was that? 230 a month, I believe. Is that just for Blaine or is that for you and Blaine? Uh, it's for me and Blaine, although I'm technically on my uh, dad's insurance as well. I had to get like a family plan, uh, okay. but it is really for him. Okay, and that health insurance, does that include dental or is that a separate cost? Uh, that includes it all. Okay. So let me just clarify, the health insurance that you have, that's through your employer? Yes. You also have it through your dad? So I'm on my dad's insurance for myself as my primary. Uh, the only reason that I got that in the first place was for Blaine. I'll be on my father's phone. Six. Okay, so it is through your dad's employer. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Bridgers. It's confusing. Okay. Yeah. Insurance is through Mr. Bridgers' employer, Ms. Alexander. Mr. Okay. Bridges is still on his father. Okay. That's what, yeah, I thought that's what I heard, and I was just trying to clarify. Thank you, Judge. Um, where do you currently work, Mr. Bridges? Uh, okay, and how much do you make? Uh, it varies by semester because they work around my school schedule. Uh, but I make twenty dollars and twenty eight cents an hour. Okay, and how many hours do you usually work a week? This semester, I'm working thirty two. And how many uh, hours did you work last semester? Sorry. Um, last semester, I actually worked nineteen, but over the course of twelve months, I averaged thirty one. So I. I do have like a minimum yearly average of 32. Okay. What are you in school for? Uh, instrumentation technology. Okay. And when will you be completed with that? Should be this December if I'm in the summer. Like if the courses I need aren't available, I'll graduate in the summer. Okay. I can't remember. Do you have any other children other than Blaine? Uh, no, ma'am. No further questions, Your Honor. Call your next witness. No other witnesses, Your Honor. <laughs> All right. The only real issue in this case, Miss Cullen, that I see is going to be the visitation for Blaine. Okay. Sir. Right now, you and Mr. Bridgers are working out perfectly together. Y'all are raising the child together. You're talking to each other about the needs of the child. Um, but I have to put something specific in a court order that gives Mr. Bridgers um, specific times and dates for him to be able to spend time with Blaine. All right. Yes, sir. Now, that doesn't mean y'all got to follow my plan. If y'all continue to do what you want to do, as long as you both agree to continue to do what you want to do. Then you don't have any problems. You follow yes, me. Yes, sir. So I understand. It's when those times that you and Mr. Bridgers do not agree, then y'all fall back on the plan that I have in place. Yes, sir. All right. Right now, it looks like everybody's being cordial. Um, the child is still nursing, and so um, he's he's not asked for any overnight visits. Uh, but he's had at least one in the past. Yes. Excluding the issue of nursing, mm -hmm. are is Dylan and Blaine, in your opinion, ready for weekend overnight visits? Absolutely, yes. Okay. That's what I want to order, Ms. Cullen, and then I hope that you and Mr. Bridgers just continue to work together. Yes, yes, sir. Issue. Okay. And you believe that, you, in your opinion, Ms. Cullen, you and Mr. Bridgers will be able to do that? Absolutely. All right. Mr. Bridgers, do you share the same sentiment? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Um, I want to give you the rights to, to be a full access father, Mr. Bridgers, but I'm just hoping that you and Ms. Cullen continue to work around that issue and to, to get that squared away, all right? Yes, sir. Ms. Cullen, do you have any questions about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir, I don't. Mr. Bridgers, do you have any questions about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. Of course, going to find the court of jurisdiction. Court's going to find based on the testimony of the parties. It is certainly in Blaine's best interest to name the parties as joint managing conservators, with Miss Cullen as the party with the right to establish the primary residence of the child. Uh, Mr. Bridgers is going to have visitation at any and all times mutually agreed to by the parties. If no mutual agreement, at least standard possession. Again, um, I will ad advise the parents or or uh, express to the parents my need. The desire that they continue to work together like they have been. I think they put Blaine's best interest first um, and just fall back on my plan if there's a disagreement. Um, child support in this case is going to be set at $435 a month beginning April the 1st of 2023 with no retroactive child support. Mr. Bridges will be ordered to maintain the health insurance on the child through his employer as he's been doing. I gave him $190 a month for the medical insurance and $10 a month for the dental for the purposes of calculation, Ms. Alexander. Thank you. Court costs in this case will be due by Mr. Bridgers, but I'll give him until September the 30th of 2023. Any questions about the ruling in this case, Ms. Alexander? Um, uh, the jail restriction, Your Honor. Is that no jail restriction? 
not in Hardin County. Okay. Good question, though. No further questions, Your Honor. Got it. Ms. Ms. Cullen and Mr. Bridgers, what's going to happen now is Ms. Alexander's office is going to send me a proposed order. As long as it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. They're going to make copies of it and send it to each of you. Ms. Cullen, do you have any questions about my ruling today? No, sir. Mr. Bridgers, do you have any questions about my ruling today? Yes, sir. Just one. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So the credit you gave me through the health insurance, is that subtracted from the payment or does that mean my total would actually be around 600 a month? No, you're already carrying the health insurance. Yes. You have to, so you don't have to pay that. Your your total cost for the case for the child support is just the 435. Okay, so that's what will come out of my paycheck? That's what will come out of your paycheck. How often do you get paid? Uh, Bi-weekly, so. So it's going to be like 200 bucks every two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Anything further? No, sir. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you for being good parents. I'm sure it helps Blaine a lot. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Good luck. You're free to go.